I'm a sculptor, I work in steel, I do mainly public artwork. So um, whatever I make is in public domain, people have to see it, they look at it. I want to involve the people who live there in their piece of sculpture. So I'm in school today to talk to, uh, talk to a class. We're talking about art, what we're going to do, and then they're going to do a lot of drawings for me, get stuck in, they're going to be pure sculptors and artists for an afternoon, and hopefully by the end of that we're going to come up with something that's quite magnificent, and it's theirs. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. I know that Northumbrian Water are doing a lot of community-based work at the moment and the children enjoy any opportunity to take some ownership of the area around them. I love working in schools. Um, well, I've just said to these children, it's an afternoon enough for me. And so when Home Group and Northumbrian Water got in touch and said, look, we'd love you to take part in this. We'd love you to come along, involve the children, get them going. Um, it's really nice to be asked by these people to do it because they're, 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 they're putting their heads on the blocks to actually create a piece of this sculptural work that people could say, where's the money? But they, they, they're going for it and it actually does work. So I do appreciate being asked by these two companies. It's great. I think um, the children enjoy any form of art. Uh, we've recently studied Anthony Goldsworthy, so this should be within the same vein and I look forward to them seeing something that they've helped to create in their own environment. I live near, near Chelsea Gardens, so, so most of the time when I'm walking to school I'll pass it every day. Projects like these are, are just a marvellous for, for most areas because you know, you can wander through, a, through an estate not seeing anything, it's job, it's miserable, and then bang, you come up with us, a piece of sculpture, and it makes you talk. Part ants, part snail, part bee, part spider, because it's spider eyes, and part ladybird.